Alright, welcome back to the Super Coach Enough channel. In this video, we're going to review uh, week 10, or round 10 rather, of the 2024-25 Supercoach NBL season. Um, and pretty okay week for us, nothing too fantastic. Um, a fourth, uh, 462 rather, 4,000 would be alright. <laughs> but um, the 2.5k in the round, uh, slight overall increase, 18 spots, so nothing major there. Um, but as you can see, we didn't get the, the dub in the, the Super Catch Enough's league. But we'll have a look at the team. Um, so a few great contributors there, uh, namely the big three, Xavier Cooks with the 65, Jackson Carter with 86, and then Bryce Cotton with 100, and as our captain, uh, getting us 200. So some great returns there. I'm pretty sure I saw something about Bryce Cotton breaking the point scoring record, um, which sort of contributed to that monster score. So you love to see it. After that, though, a little bit disappointing. Pinder only with the 14-point return. Uh, and we had Henschel and Meninga on the bench, 45 and 47. Um, we could have used both of them because Harrison actually didn't play, didn't really follow what happened there. Um, currently on the work computer, for some reason, my uh, personal computer seems to just have a meltdown around Supercoach and Code Sports on the browser. Um and sports deck as well. So if anyone's got any suggestions on how to fix that, get it in the, uh, the comments below this video. That will be very helpful. Uh, but we would have got Sikarski's 26, so not the worst return. Obviously, Menenga would have been a bit nicer, but it is what it is. Uh, Cook with a 21 and Pep with a 32. So obviously, can't fit them in our guard slots, but um, some good returns. Pepper um, did lose some money, but I'm sure he's reset his break even a bit. 24 might be about as good as it's going to get. <laughs> um, so before we get into trades, let's have a look at the head-to-head -head stuff. So Woozy's got me by six, uh, 14 in the end, um, and that was despite the uh, the captaincy. So I guess it just came down to the fact it didn't get. Oh, that's right, you don't get auto emergency in this, do you? So, yeah, because they all count on the bench. So, it was probably just having the non-player that was the difference, uh, which is unfortunate. Um, you know, he had Cooks as captain, which is still decent, but, you know, Cotton would have been even better. Um, Doolittle with 58, so obviously, you know, that, that matches up nicely to what I had on the on the, uh, the bench. Um, so, yeah, good return there for Woozies. Um, surely there's a 500 in the league. Yep, and it looks like Super Coach Eggs can do it all, killing it with a 5.39. So he had Cotton, had Oliver with the 91. That's a great return. Jackson Cartwright had Doolittle. So I'm pretty sure I traded Doolittle out, so that was a bad move on my behalf. <laughs> um, yeah, and had all 10 playing as well, which is super handy. Nice one. Um, have a quick look at break-evens and, and that sort of thing. Or look at the points as well. So I guess we covered Oliver, Jackson Cartwright, Cooks, Tyler Harvey with the 67. It's a bit of a slightly uh, discounted price compared to the big four there. Kel with a 62. So nice little reverse in form for him. Do little we spoke about. Adams with a 57. Tui, 51 at a cheap price. He might be back on the radar. Um, but in terms of break-evens... So we've got Owen Foxwell from South East Melbourne scoring a 47 this week. Um, don't know if they had the double or if that was just one monster game. But a uh, break-even of negative 19 is pretty nice. Peatling scoring a 35. So at his price, that negative 13 break-even is tempting. But the average of 7 might be more representative of what you could expect. So maybe not a lot of cash in there. But uh, I guess if you're looking for a downgrade, he would be an option. Uh, Rasmussen, you can probably just copy and paste what I said there. Uh, Davidson has at least the dual position, which is handy. Um, so Oliver with a break even of one. So if you want to get on him, this would be the week because his price will increase. Um, after that, a lot of the DNPs, bottom dollar guys. 
So probably Tui with a break even of eight is pretty handy if you like him. Isaac White, pretty cheap. Uh, plays for Brisbane, which is handy with the fixture. But um, that might be about it. <laughs> So if we have a look at the matchups this week, so you've got Melbourne on the double, Cairns on the double, Brisbane obviously on the double, Perth and New Zealand, uh, and Adelaide as well. So um, I guess that means we're, we're, we're happy to keep Pinder unless he is injured. I might have to have a look. He's the most popular trade out, so I'm guessing there's an injury involved in that. Although all the Perth assets are been traded out despite they have a double this week they might have a rough run afterwards 12 is a single 13 is a single 14 is a single so i can understand that with so many teams on the double this week you might as well load up on some of them um harrison also on the the chopping block so not sure if he's just injured or what the story is. Looks like Jack White might be back though, as the most popular trade in at the moment. Um, Prather. So Brisbane asset is pretty handy. Humphreys. So I think he's the backup centre. I'm pretty sure what was his name. Harold got a, a bit of a ban. <laughs> so that could be a, a handy pickup. So I guess, you know, a straight swap for Harrison. What's Adelaide's upcoming fixture like? A single in 12, double in 13, double in 14. So, yeah, I guess that makes sense. So, we'll probably lock that one in. Um, if we can find him. Humphreys, there we go. That's one. Um, I guess Jack White is a popular trading option. So, we might just do the Pinder to White trade as well. We've got the cash. That's two. Uh, we don't have any boost, so we don't need to worry about a third trade. That's worked out well. <laughs> so we'll just do those trades. So, nothing too complex this week. Uh, there's a bit on. Got the uh, you know Premier League's got a short turnaround. Um, NBA will be about to wrap up for another week, so um, we might just sort of leave it there. I don't think we're going to do too much in terms of the different. Uh, Captain, vice captain options. Two games at home is nice for Jackson Cartwright. Um, Cotton, you know, in, in his form, the double game week, we'll have a bit of that. Yeah, we'll take Humphreys on the double game week, just based off average. And I think despite the double game weeks here, I think we'll back Cooks in to still go all right on his single this week over in NZ. So... We'll leave it there. As always, if you've got any questions, comments, thoughts, feel free to add them below this video. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoy the NBA L content. Uh, subscribe for all the fantasy sports content on the channel. And other than that, we'll catch you in the next one.